Hello, Murdoch families. It's Ms. Hodgen, and it is so good to see you guys um, this week. And I know you're getting ready for our um, for the summer and getting ready for um, just not being in school and not having those different Zoom meetings that you have or assignments. Um, so summer is going to be really fun. Um, but sometimes this summer might be a little disappointing. Um, Maybe you're used to going on a, a really nice vacation somewhere or a cruise or um, somewhere that you see lots of people um, and that may not happen this summer. That might be a little different than the summers that we've had. Um, things might look different at our um, community pools. We might not have all the summer sports that we're used to having. Um, so I know I wanted to talk about today of really being disappointed and um, and some of the things that are going on in our country right now and some of the feelings that you may be having. So feeling disappointed is a very natural and normal um, feeling to have. Actually, I've kind of felt disappointed here recently, being disappointed and that I might not be able to do the things that I normally would do over um, summer break. So feelings, feeling disappointed is a very normal and natural way. Um, and there's different ways that we can handle it. Some people deal with disappointment by screaming and being angry and trying to get their way to control the situation. And others just kind of get sad and upset about it. So um, we're gonna talk and dive a little bit deeper into disappointed, feeling disappointed, but I have a very cute video clip that I found for you guys on disappointment. And I just want to share that with you guys. Um, here we go. And we are going to work on this um, paper as well. Hmm. So here we go. We are going to turn this on full screen and watch it. It's just pretty short. <laughs> goodness I have felt that way before those little birds wanted that cupcake so much and they were worked so hard on trying to get it and then 
they got a worm instead. Not the cupcake that they were expecting, not the wonderful treat that they thought they were gonna have, but a juicy worm. Um, so disappointments can come in all different ways. And you've probably heard my son trying to get in here. He was disappointed that he couldn't come in and be on video with you guys. So disappointment happens over lots of things. Maybe the, what you're eating for dinner, maybe, you know, not getting um, a certain toy that you wanted or just, you know, not being able to do the things that you wanted to do. Maybe going out and here recently, if playing on a playground and that's really disappointing or not being able to um, be able to play with your friends like you used to be able to. So disappointment comes in lots of different ways and how we respond to it is, and I'm gonna share my screen again um, and I'm gonna post these attachments so that you guys can see them. Um, it's just ways of how to deal with disappointments. Um, so we are gonna go that screen. So these will be attached to the, the um, website once this uh, video is posted. It'll be right underneath and this is something you can do. And as you can tell, you really don't know what this is. So this is actually a crumbled sand castle. It's like if you've ever been to the beach or the lake or somewhere with sand or maybe just a sandbox, if you built a sand castle and then maybe a sibling came over and messed it up or maybe you just um, were at the sand, the water came up and made your sand castle just melt. That's just really disappointing. So this is just a way of thinking about disappointment. Maybe it doesn't have to necessarily be a sandcastle. So think about some times that you were very disappointed. Um, again, that could be summer sports are canceled. Maybe that vacation that you're really excited about, you're not going to be able to go on this summer. Um, so there are lots of things that can make you really disappointed. So in the sandcastle below, write some examples of times where you just felt really disappointed about things um, and share those. Sometimes getting them out on paper makes us feel a lot better. Um, so go ahead and you're gonna work on this page of what you're really, what you're disappointed about and share that with whoever you live with. Let them know like what you're disappointed about. Um, and then here's what you should do about it. Um, so there's lots of ways to handle disappointment. So this is saying fill in the beautifully built sand castle that can help you feel better. Um, maybe if it's just something that you couldn't get right the first time, maybe it's with the work that you're doing, maybe try again. Um, use kind words. That means when we're frustrated and we are not able to get our way, sometimes we use some not nice words. So try to use kind words instead. Also being kind to yourself, being saying kind words to yourself. Like maybe, again, like you had that vacation you wouldn't go to. Um, you know, just saying, it's okay for me to be upset. Um, taking some deep breaths, that's breathing in through the nose, hold for the count of four and out through the mouth. There's also, if you're really upset about something, maybe again, like your, whoever you live with shared with you about, hey, our summer might look a little different. And you know, you find yourself crying and you're really, really upset. We can also do something called the alternating nostril breath. Oh, this sounds really silly. So after I stop sharing the screen, I'll make sure to share that with you guys. That one's really a good way of doing the breathing when you're really upset. Um, being nice to the other person uh, that maybe gave you the news, like maybe that's a family member that shared with you or a parent. Um, it might be hard not to yell at them or to be upset and say why, and, um, but just know that they may be disappointed as well. Um, tell yourself that it's going to be okay. And it will, friends. It just seems like it's really hard right now, but eventually things are gonna be okay. We're gonna be able to do the things that we were able to do. Are they gonna be back to 100% normal? Maybe not, but maybe, we don't know. 
But the thing is, is that we do know that we're okay right now. And that is the most important thing. And that we can use our imaginations and our creativity to make those awesome memories and fun things in our backyards. Um, so it's something to think about is using your imagination, your creativity, telling yourself it's gonna be okay. So maybe you were really disappointed and you really wanted to go to the movies or see a movie. Maybe make a movie theater in your own home. I've seen lots of people do that. We actually did that last night. That was really fun. We made tickets and had concessions and using your imaginations, pretending that you're somewhere else. Um, maybe instead of that beach vacation, that um, you can have a little wading pool in your backyard and a little chair and just pretend that you are in the, in the, in the, on the beach. Maybe get some sand if that's okay with whoever you live with. So there are ways of being disappointed and uh, ways of handling that. Maybe practicing your sport with um, whoever you live with and making a game. We had a baseball game in our front yard the other day. So disappointed happens and I totally understand how that happens. So um, we just wanted to share that with you. Um, I'm actually going to stop share. I'm going to post those videos online so that you and resources so that you are able to print them out um but friends disappointments in normal part feeling to have um so i totally understand where you're coming from again if you guys want to talk with me zoom with me just let your parents know and to reach out to their teacher and i'll reach out to you all right friends i hope you have a wonderful day thank you so much for spending this time with me and we'll see each other soon